peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Such a cute nose. Yeah, not bad. Oh, very strapping. What do you think, hon? Beard or no beard? Did you put a little color in your hair? Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me.
Nice. Did you get a haircut? What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Another fine product of General Atomics International. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. Abraxo for all your cleaning needs. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Rude to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. Uh... Hmm. More the same. I'm so proud of her. Good old USA. Ah, oh, sounds like someone made a stinky. I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. But then we're looking at a cold front coming down from Canada, making it crisp and dry for next week's Halloween festivities. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. Looks like the milk got delivered. New Coca-Cola, ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A+. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. It's a little early to be drinking. Inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Now, who left those here? This afternoon, right here in the city, Boston's swatting sultans will swing for the fences. Led by star pitcher Matt the Missile Murtaugh, Boston hopes to defeat Texas. Good morning! Voltec calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I'm here now.
So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Vincent! Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. <laughs> the glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. <laughs> to think one day he's going to learn how to drive. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. And miss the World Series? Not gonna happen. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth, what's wrong? <laughs> 